Hey guys, uh, welcome to your compatibility reading. So this is a compatibility reading for Aquarius and Pisces. So Aquarius dealing with the Pisces, Pisces dealing with the Aquarius, okay? So uh, we are first going to take a look to see if you guys are compatible. This is according to your own unique situation, okay? Uh, and then uh, we'll take a uh, look at, uh, we'll do you versus them. We'll put uh, Aquarius on my left side and Pisces on my right. You can feel free to switch the roles if you want. You can place yourself where you um, where it best fits you. Um, what else? And then we'll finish off the read with a possible outcome and advice. So apply this to your own unique situation. Like I said, switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are collective messages. These are general messages too. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, uh, if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So, um, yeah, in terms of Aquarius and Pisces, this is a pretty, I would say this is a pretty odd pairing, a pretty unusual pairing because it's complete polar opposites. Um, because Aquarius is ruled, ruled by air and Pisces is ruled by water. So, um, you know, Aquarius is an individual that is, you know, very analytical. And I feel like when it comes to emotions, they try to be, they try to rationalize it and logicalize it. As Pisces, you know, it's a very sensitive sign. Uh, they're all up in their emotions, um, you know. So um, I do feel like, you know, I think over time, you know, I do feel like even though the, these signs are polar opposites, they can work out. Uh, but it, you have to factor in a bunch of different factors. So you have to factor in each person's zodiac chart, you know, moon, rising, Venus, uh, Mercury, Mars, and etc. You also have to factor in someone's upbringing, uh, you know, traumas and karma and past life issues, okay? So it, it really depends, you know. Um, you know I, and I give examples of these because I know people in my life that are paired up that are completely odd pairings you wouldn't even think they would work out but they do work out you know i have a, a friend uh you know he's an aries and he's with a scorpio and they've been, to, been together for a while I have a girlfriend who's a capricorn and she's with a gemini they've been together for a while okay so keep in mind that there these are there are different variables but um you know we'll, we'll take a look and see if you guys are compatible uh, per your unique situation okay so uh, let's get started here messages for aquarius dealing with the pisces pisces dealing with an aquarius are pisces is pisces compatible with their uh uh, uh wait is pisces compatible with their aquarius is Pisces compatible with their Aquarius? Is Aquarius compatible with their Pisces? You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? But I'm going to focus this more on your Sun sign. But yeah, you could do whatever to, uh, to this reading you want with this. Uh, you know, uh, this is a general read. Is Aquarius and Pisces compatible with each other? All right, so let's see. We have the hermit virgo energy yeah you see um aquarians can you know depending on the aquarius like i said there are different factors different variables here but you know aquarius tend to be kind of distant you know uh, you know can, can be cold you know can be emotionally aloof and you know like i said with pisces you know pisces is all up in their emotions okay uh we have the judgment card this is interesting because I feel like with both zodiac signs, you know, I feel like what you guys have in common is that you guys love to spend time on your own. You know, I feel like you guys are really so philosophical. I feel like you guys are sort of like, you guys have a lot on your mind. I feel like, you know, both of you guys could be in this energy of like searching for the meaning of life and, you know, you know, kind of like, you know, talking about maybe spiritual stuff that like, you know, stuff uh, about what's going on in the world or something like that. Okay. We have a page of wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, more fire energy. So maybe both of you guys might have some fire energy in your charts, either Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Virgo here also. You have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Okay, this is really interesting. It seems like you guys, you and your person, Aquarius, Pisces, Pisces, Aquarius, you guys have a very strong soul tie here. 
Yeah, and I feel like regarding uh, uh, your um, sex life, I feel like it's like off the charts. I feel like it's like an atom bomb or something like that, okay? So, uh, you know, I feel like in terms of, you know, in bed, things are going really great in that department. Uh, the thing is, I feel like in this connection here, I do feel like there's one person who's incredibly mature, okay? And then there's another person who's not. So I feel like that's where the conflict is happening here because I feel like in a way, because of that, you guys are not on the same page. Uh, we have one person that wants to be adventurous, okay? Uh, we have someone here that wants to go out there and enjoy the world and experience the world and maybe another person wants to stay home. This is interesting because, you know, Aquarius are not really known to be adventurous. It really depends though. Yeah. Yeah, Pisces are, yeah, it really depends. Like I said, it depends on the variables. So, you know, I feel like one person is because, like, uh, we have this fire energy here. Tell me about the Hermit. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Judgment, and the Six of Pentacles. There is a lack of uh, equal give and take. There is a lack of balance between you guys, Okay. Like I said, I feel like one person might be contribu contributing more and the other person is not. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is this Page of Wands here? You know, Six of Wands. Okay. There is someone here that's really stuck in their ego, whoever this is. Okay. Um, and I feel like one, you know, I feel like you guys might be a really attractive couple here too. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. Wow. Someone here is a bit of a heartbreaker. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, I'm feeling like there is an acknowledgement when someone gets hurt. Yeah. Like someone here is not caring or something like that. Yeah. Someone here is not validating someone's experience. It could be both of you guys that are doing that. Yeah. It, it's just a different style of handling things because uh, Aquarius handles things more in the mind. And uh, Pisces handles things more in the emotion. Tell me about the Four of Wands here. Why is the Four of Wands here? We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about the Ace of Wands and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Uh, you know, per your unique situation, I feel like you got your, your connection might be going through some sort of transition right now. Is it going to go any further than this? Okay, uh, because I feel like it, it, it's getting stuck. It's getting stuck. It might be it might be becoming toxic too. This is an indication that you guys have a very, very, very incredibly strong soul tie. You guys have met in several different past lives. Uh, maybe not as lovers, but it could be, you know, you guys in the past life were friends, or you know, you guys could have been siblings or something like that, or co-workers, okay? I'm getting more co-worker. Yeah, because we have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. But I feel like you guys might be in a like a like a, kind of like a toxic situation, uh, because like I said, there's a lack of equal give and take here. There's a lack of balance, and we have that devil card on the bottom of the deck. It seems like the connection stalled out. Okay, uh, let's take a look at Aquarius. You're gonna be on my left side, so we're gonna take a. Uh, it's, it'll be a you versus them. Your Libra energies, your feelings towards your Pisces here. How you view your Pisces. I mean, someone here is viewing someone here as immature, okay? I do feel like one person is more mature and the other person is not, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about Aquarius. What are their over energies? How are they currently viewing their Pisces? How do they currently feel about their Pisces? Oh, these messages are timeless, by the way. Six of Pentacles. We have the worlds. You have the Eight of Cups. Mm. So interesting. So Aquarius, you're viewing as Pisces, as someone here who runs, who doesn't deal with their problems here? Three of Swords. Okay, so is Pisces the one that's, heart that's breaking hearts here? Aquarius, you might have some water energy in your, song, in your chart because you're showing up as someone here who's incredibly sensitive. Yeah. Or that Aquarius, you could be viewing Pisces as too sensitive. So apply this to your own unique situation. Ten of Swords and a Ten of Wands. 
there is a situation where Aquarius, I feel like you were backstabbed. I feel like you were betrayed. I feel like someone here lied to you. So you're viewing your uh, your Aquarius. Uh, um, so uh, Aquarius, you're viewing your Pisces as someone here who's not honest. This is something that you don't want to give to anymore. I feel like you ended the situation here, Aquarius. Okay, it seems like there was lies, deception. It seems like, you know, there was betrayal here. Someone here was overwhelmed. Someone, uh, there, I, I feel like over time, someone here just felt like it was a burden. You know, I feel like Aquarius views Pisces as a burden. So Pisces, keep in mind, you can switch the roles if you want. Just place yourself whichever side fits you, okay? These are general messages, yeah? Tell me about the uh, Six of Pentacles here. Six of Pentacles. King of Swords. Aquarius, there you are right here. King of Swords here. That's you. So Aquarius... You you could you, you could be the one that's been really generous with your Pisces, okay? And I feel like I, I'm getting an energy that someone here feels like they got slapped in the face. Yeah. Someone here has given too much. Maybe too much too soon. Yeah. Seems like the energy's kind of switched. Because I'm getting that... I, this is interesting because I'm getting that Pisces is that, not Pisces Aquarius is really, really sensitive too so I feel like that's maybe that's why you you guys in a way in some sort of way are compatible you, you know what I'm saying tell me about this uh, uh, uh world ten of pentacles wow seems like you guys had something here some of you guys might even have had children with this uh with uh with your Pisces here okay but it seems like something has come to an end here you know, I feel like we have a King of Swords, Aquarius, that's you, like I said. Someone here has put in a lot of energy into making this relationship work. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. We have the Empress. So Libra, Taurus energy. So this feminine, I feel like this is the same feminine energy. I don't know. Someone here could have walked away towards a third party. Um, you know what I'm getting here? I feel like you guys are compatible. I feel like Pisces is a mama's boy. And I feel like a mother is getting involved in this connection. Yeah, that's the third party. I don't think it's romantic. Yeah, I don't think it's romantic. But it can be. Just apply to your own unique situation. So Libra, Taurus energy here. Uh, the, the six of swords and the six of... Uh, the three of swords and the six of cups. I feel like this has gone... I feel like this has gone on in several different lifetimes. I do. This is some karma stuff that's going on here. It seems like there's some sort of family drama. It's like you, your partner, and your family. Yeah? So the Ten of Swords. I, I do feel like in a way you guys can be compatible, like I said. Yeah. I, I feel like other factors are getting in your way. So like I said, in the beginning, I was, I was saying that Aquarius and Pisces are... It's an odd pairing, you know, but I feel like you guys do work, but there are other factors getting in the way here, other people getting in the way. So that, that could be causing the incompatibility here between you guys, Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like there are people here that's causing problems with you and your connection between uh, Aquarius and Pisces, Aquarius. Ten of Wands. And then we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So um, someone here is speaking poorly about somebody. So a parent is speaking poorly about someone. So Pisces, your parent could be speaking poorly about Aquarius here. This is interesting. We have the Ace of Wands showing up again. So this is an indication that... I'm telling you, the sex thing between you guys are off the charts. I, I, it's like an atom bomb going off. Yeah. Because we have the Ace of Wands here two times. I do feel like there's one person that's more sexually active than the other one. And I feel like it could be Pisces. Yeah, I don't know Aquarius. I don't know if, uh, you know, I don't know. Aquarians are not really meant to be really, I don't, some, it, like I said, it really depends on the Aquarius. Because every Aquarius is different. But I, I don't think, yeah, come to think of it, like Aquarius are not really, 
are they really sexual people? I mean, the sexual, the incredibly sexual signs are Aries. You know, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Just correct me if I'm wrong, you know, I, I, but like I said, it depends on the different variables, okay? Let's see, what else do we, so we're gonna take a, take a look at Pisces here. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. How does, uh, what is uh, Pisces' current overall energies? How does Pisces currently view their Aquarius? 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 We have the Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands right here, too. Seems like you guys are both overwhelmed by a situation that you're going through currently. Both of you guys are feeling burdened. Like I said, it could be a third party that's interjecting themselves into this connection here. Because I'm getting someone here as a mama's boy. You know, or a daddy's girl. Or a, or, or, or a daddy's boy. Whatever. Yeah, because a parent is getting in the way here. Wow, what the F? We had a Ten of Swords here two times. Aquarius, you have the Ten of Swords. Pisces, you have the Ten of Swords here. We have Justice, Libra Energy. We have the Four of Wands, okay. It, it does seem like you guys are married. If you guys are not married, you guys could have like a higher levels of uh, commitment here, some sort of higher levels of arrangement, okay. And then we have the Moon. So what's happening here is that Pisces is viewing Aquarius as someone who, who's very secretive. A backstabber too. So I feel like both of you guys are mirroring each other here. Yeah, both of you guys are mirroring each other. So I feel like Pisces views Aquarius as someone here who's unfair. You know, when, when, remember I was saying that, you know, someone here is not acknowledging someone's ex experience. You know, you know, like I said, this energy could come off sometimes a bit emotionally aloof. You know, some, you know, this is an energy that rationalizes and logicalizes emotions. Okay, so, you know, in terms of the emotional department, you guys are not speaking the same language here. Uh, tell me about the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups. Ten of, ten of Wands. You know, the Page of Wands here. So, we have Pisces viewing Aquarius as someone here who is very childish. Aqu maybe Aquarius is the person that is, is a mama's boy or a ma mama's girl or whatever, yeah? So, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. There is some major... I do feel like this is some sort of karmic connection here. I do. Yeah. This is showing up like two times already. Yeah, because we have it here too. Yeah, this is like a past life issue. This is something that you guys have to work through. You guys have to clear out, especially with a third party kind of throwing themselves into the mix, which I do feel like is apparent, okay? Uh, Justice. We have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Four of Wands. Yeah, you, so I feel like Pisces is viewing uh, Aquarius as someone who's very manipulative, this is interesting because I feel like both of you guys are doing the same thing. It's like, okay, you show me this, you do this, I'm going to do it back. It, it's sort of like, like I said, you guys are mirroring each other because a lot of the same energies are matching up here between you guys. Oh, what do they do here? Four of Wands. Oh, what do they do to my deck? Oh, okay. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? With the King of Pentacles. This is interesting. I feel like Pisces sort of like wishes that Aquarius was more loyal or that, you know, Aquarius would keep their promises or something like that. 
look at that, it's showing up again. Someone here is not being honest or something like that. There's a lot of confusion here. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? It just seems like, you know, whatever you're going through, I feel like the only thing that you guys are kind of aligning here is sex. Because I keep getting the explosion in my head, you know, when it comes to sex, uh, the moon, while the, as I'm saying explosion, the tower, Aries Scorpio energy. So there are secrets, there are lies and deception here that's kind of like, causing this situation to happen. So I don't know. I don't know if, if there's gossiping going on here. There's uh, people, uh, other people in and around your, your, your connection gossiping and, and starting shit or something like that. But I also feel like there's a person here that does not want to stand up to these people. And I feel like it's someone's family. Yeah. So it could be Aquarius, but... Like I said, this is a general reading. You can switch the roles if you want. We have the lovers here. You guys have a very strong soul type. This is a soulmate connection. But like I said, I feel like some family karma, past life issues is affecting this relationship. Okay? So like I said, you know, you know, there are different variables here, you know, uh, that's happening here. So it, it seems like it, it's showing, it's showing. Uh, let's take a look at the outcome and advice here for you guys. Outcome and advice here for um, Aquarius and Pisces. Outcome and advice here for Pisces and Aquarius regarding their compatibility, their situation here. It just seems like the, the, the connection has stalled out because of that, uh, because uh, we have the hangman here. Yeah, we have the hangman here. It seems like, it, it just seems like there's someone here that just can't stand up to someone. Like, stop. Don't talk about my Pisces this way, or don't talk about my Aquarius this way, yeah? So, let's see. Seems like this has been going on for a long time. I feel like it's been going on multiple lifetimes. Okay, we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have the Eight of Wands here. You know, I feel like the communication is really important. Yeah, even though your communication styles between you guys are different, it's so important to be direct, transparent, and honest here because it seems like there's a lack of honesty. Now, not that, you know, you know, maybe you guys are being honest. Maybe the person's not being honest is a third party or something like that, okay? But like I said, apply this to your unique situation. We have a page of swords here and a hermit. So Virgo energy. And Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Kings and Queen of Pentacles. A true pair right here, you guys. And the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I think we saw the Queen of Wands earlier. Wow. It seems like there is a lot of stress and anxiety surrounding this. You know, I feel like the best thing that you could do is maybe get a neutral person to help you navigate through the situation here. You know, I feel like you're, I feel like both of you guys are getting a lot of messages from your guys and your angels here. You know, I do feel like they're trying to guide you in that direction where you, you guys could have some sort of peace, balance, and harmony here. You know, I do feel like things will get better, especially with that Hermit card. You know, that Hermit card has a star in it, so there is hope that this can get better. The thing is, I feel like I think you guys just need to find the tools to help you navigate through this. You know, just because in the astrology textbook saying that, you know, you guys are not compatible, it doesn't mean anything. Like I said, there are different variables here. I do feel like, accord, you know, according to the astrology textbooks, you know, it's, you know, you know, you know, Aquarius and Pisces are not compatible. But yes, I feel like they can work out. And I've seen that firsthand, you know, and for me, I've been with signs that I am compatible with and those relationships didn't work out, you know, uh, you know, I, I you know, uh, I, I, I was with a, a Gemini, you know, Geminis and Aries are compatible. I was with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius and Aries are compatible. And uh, my last uh, guy that I dated was also um, a Sagittarius, but that didn't work out either. You know, so it really depends. Yeah. 
Okay. Tell me about this uh, Sagittarius. No, tell me about Temperance. We have the Two of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. The Lovers. It seems like there's a lot of love here. I do feel like there's someone here that's really indecisive here too. So I feel like one of the important things for that person that's really indecisive, they need to tune into their higher self. You know, I feel like someone, uh, one person in particular has a lot of guides and angels and ancestors surrounding them. You know, so you're receiving messages, you're getting signs. Listen to those messages, okay? Uh, Acknowledge the signs because it's there to help you. Yeah, for the, the, the individual that's having a hard time making decisions here, okay? The uh, Page of Swords, it, it might be annoying to one person, okay? Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, wow. There is someone here that's gossiping a lot. I do feel like it's a family member on either side. It could, it could be b both sides, yeah. Talking poorly about each other, it just seems like there's one parent that doesn't like their partner. Yeah, could be both. Yeah. So uh, tell me about the hermit. Maybe, what is this? The king of swords. Did I see the queen of swords before? Oh, yeah. So this is your right here, Aquarius. You know, if Aquarius did her Pisces, you know, Aquarius, the most important thing is that Aquarius need to, needs to sit with themselves, introspect, and self-reflect here. So... If that's not the case, it could be Pisces. Pisces need to do that, okay? Someone here needs to take a look and take responsibility for their actions, okay? Um, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Death card. King of Wands. And the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel like the outcome can turn out really well. But I feel like you guys have to really work on this. The communicate, you know, I feel like communication is so important, you know. Um, so if you guys are communicating in a way that you guys are not understanding each other, you guys have to find the tools to do that. It, it can turn into a ten of pentacles. Yeah, okay. Uh, it, it's just that you guys have to do the work and look at things in the bigger perspective and really understand each other's perspective. And... You know, and I feel like it's important to have empathy and put yourself in someone else's shoes. Because, you know, you know, what if someone did that to you? You know, would you like that? You know, simple things like that, okay? So Aquarius and Pisces, Pisces, Aquarius. I hope that this reading was helpful for you, for you guys. I hope it resonated. If it did, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.